Hi, and welcome in to Snooker Systems YouTube channel, the place where you subscribe for hints and tips on how to play the game of snooker better. And in this video, we're going to be looking at backspin. How can you screw the ball back with no effort whatsoever? Sounds great, right? A lot of people struggle with backspin. Can't quite screw the ball back. When I've got people coming for coaching, I say to them, All right, what, is there a shot that you, you can't do, you'd like to do better? It's almost always backspin. I want to screw the ball back as far as possible. And you know what? It's actually not as difficult as you think. If you're struggling with backspin, it's almost certainly because you're not quite understanding what it is that creates the spin. Because normally, players who don't get as much backspin as they should, it's usually because they're trying to hit the ball with their grip and their cue arm. That's doing all of the work. Too much force, too much acceleration, too much speed, too much power. It means that the cue ball isn't being timed. We have to time this ball to create the maximum spin. And what you've got to do is you've got to say to yourself, what is it that hits the ball? It's not my hand, is it? It's the cue. The cue creates the backspin, not your hand. And we've got to remember that this cue is heavier, about five times heavier, in fact, than a cue ball. And therefore, because of the weight of the cue, we're going to let that weight do its job. And when it strikes the ball with an accelerating cue, smoothly accelerating cue, let's be clear about that, we create more spin and we get a greater response out of that cue ball than you're probably getting at the moment. Okay, so let's demonstrate something that shows you that, why this grip is not the important thing when we're actually wanting to develop backspin. So I'm going to only make a grip with the part of the cue, the part of the grip that actually controls what we're doing, the front. It's really just the ring of the thumb and the forefinger that controls the cue. These fingers don't really do that much. And I'm going to grip this cue really lightly, okay? Not so light that I drop it, okay? And not so light that I can't control it but I'm just gonna exact a very, very light pressure on this butt of the cue, and I'm gonna keep my other three fingers off the cue. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to push through without a massive amount of force, just letting the cue accelerate smoothly, and we're going to see what happens to the cue ball. If you're struggling to screw the cue ball back more than three or four feet with maximum effort, try this out you'll be surprised at the result you get. Okay, so we're just gonna pop this red into the quarter pocket. I'm gonna strike down low on the cue ball with a very light grip, just with the thumb and the forefinger. Okay, so we've screwed the cue ball back there about two feet with no effort whatsoever. So let's try one more time. This time I'm going to try and have even less speed and see if that makes any difference. With less speed surely the cue ball should come back a shorter distance. And that's actually probably come back two and a half feet or something like that. So with no effort, with no grip, I can screw the cue ball back. So what happens if I bring my normal grip on, so I've got control, but I'm not tightening it. I'm not throttling the cue as I go through. I'm just letting my grip be a nice constant light pressure throughout the backswing, opening it up. We've covered that in the Gripping Truth video in our YouTube channel. Have a look at that if you haven't seen it. It opens up, it then comes back on, never tightening, pushing right the way through and always accelerating. That's the key to timing. Timing, by definition, is the Q-tip traveling at its fastest when it goes through the cue ball. So we want that acceleration throughout your delivery and then you can get your maximum 
backspin. If you ever find that you're jumping the white, miscuing it, it's almost certainly because your grip is coming on too tightly. So you've got to learn not to do that. Some, not an easy thing to do, but once you start to get the results and you like the results, it's going to encourage you to really come off that grip. So let's just play a shot with a light grip, accelerating all the way through the ball and screw the ball back into ball. Okay, I actually missed that pot, but I'm not worried about it because the spack spin I got was what I was after. Screwing the ball back all the way into bulk was the objective, and I did that without my grip getting in my way. I don't want your grip to get in your way. Practice with a very, very, very light grip, first of all, just to see that cue ball coming back. Then you can bring your grip on, but try not to over tighten as you go through. Now, if you want to learn how to play this game to the real best of your ability, head over to snookersystem.com where we have an extensive course taking you through from the basics, the essential techniques, all the way through to advanced break building and even the mental side of the game. It is the first online academy of its type and we'd love to see you over there. But check back in with us at our YouTube channel for more hints and tips because we've got a load coming down the line and we'll see you very, very soon.